This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you an HGV driver looking for work? Head over to availlogistics.co.uk, fill out the looking for work form and get notified about jobs in your area. Don't miss out. Start your next journey with Avail today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are all okay. We are in, or heading, I should say, to Perrywood Garden Centre in, are we in Colworth? Colchester, I think we're in Colchester, near the A12. Um, and we are just a couple of miles away from where we need to be. I have actually been to this garden centre once before, and you've sort of got to go in. Are you letting me go as well, or I think you are, yep. You've sort of got to turn right into the, to the garden centre, turn right again, then right again, as if you're heading back out, and then reverse back. That's what we've got to do, but we've got to make sure there's no um, uh, vehicles behind us. Now, I haven't actually called to say I'm arriving. Last time I did, I did call them up to say I'm on my way, and um, someone was waiting for me. I might even need to call up when I turn right and right again. I can't remember. We'll see. We'll see if there's any signs to say that when we get there. Um, I can't remember if I did or not. Um, anyway, we've got, I think it's eight pallets we've got on for them to come off, so we shouldn't be here too long. And then we've got to go to a builder's merchant's in South End on Sea. We've got 25 bolt bags of topsoil for them. Kieran loaded this trailer for us yesterday, so thank you very much, Kieran. Much appreciated. I was off, I was in Weymouth, uh, spending some nice uh, uh, family time away. Uh, long weekend, so that was good. And now we're back at work on a Tuesday and uh, let's get some stuff done. Apparently tomorrow I'm potentially doing some deliveries to the MTV Awards. Now, I have been told it's a high security job. Um, I've had to, like, basically I've got to have a driving licence on me and photo ID. So I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be able to film anything tomorrow. But I might start a different video and, um, like, talk about it. Because there's nothing saying I can't talk about it as far as I'm concerned. So I will contemplate, contemplate doing that tomorrow. But today We've got to deliver this first. You're taking a very wide swing for that pedestrian. Deliver this first to this garden centre, then go to the builder's merchants, and then probably more than likely go to H&H, &H, I suspect, and then do a delivery in the morning. I think that's what we're going to be doing, but that is to be confirmed. TBC. Now, the last time I come to this garden centre, it was uh, very much in the daytime, um, sort of, it was it was it was past midday, so um, lots of people were out and about. Whereas this morning, but well, it's, it's only twenty past nine right now, so I'm hoping it's going to be a bit quieter. I was scheduled to be here for nine a.m. when I left the yard. Uh, actually, it was eight fifty-five to be precise, and uh, I was told to get here for nine o'clock by the garden centre themselves because I phoned them up yesterday, and. Um, yeah, basically we got caught in a bit of traffic on the way here, so it's 20 past 9, that is when we're going to be turning up, so it's only 20 minutes delayed, not the end of the world, but never mind. Okay, right, it's coming up now on the right-hand side, we're starting to get in the moment, we do have a few vehicles behind us, don't want them overtaking us whilst we're going to be doing a manoeuvre. Lovely jubbly. So, I do believe it's not the first right, it's the second, because the first right is an exit gate. Here we go relatively quiet. I don't see any lorries in the goods in area so we should be able to reverse straight back. We're going to turn beacons on. Lovely jubbly. Take this nice and wide. Everyone in the uh, canteen is having a good old look. Matey boy's coming down now from Goods Inn. I think he's going to watch me back. Someone in Hivers, anyway. Yeah, he's watching me back. Lovely. Um, I think last time I was on the left-hand side, so I am going to slowly get over. So 
to the left now while I can. Yeah, he's pointing to the left, that's good. He's pointing to the left. Lovely jubbly, and he's asked me to stop. We got a slight angle, but that should be okay, not the end of the world, because it's only coming off the back end anyway. Right, we're going to need a high vis on at this place. Everyone's wearing high vis, and the goods in. So I match. If if they weren't wearing high vis, then I wouldn't wear high vis either. Um, let's get you sorted out. Thank you. Right, high vis on. And then we want the paperwork, which is this one. Lovely. Right, let's go. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, you join us uh, inside now, this place where, where we are being unloaded. All the ratchets are off, straps are off. Not on the front, I mean, on the back. And uh, everything is now going to be started to be taken off. Um, I think Kieran has loaded this in such a way that the pallet is leaning on the net. So I think once that pallet gets taken off, we may need to just take a quick look at the net and just make sure it's secure before driving off. So we're not going to go in the truck and wait. We're going to wait outside because we may we may need to re-secure it basically. So that's what we're going to do. But yeah, these are coming off nice and quickly. I don't think we'll be here for that long. Uh, they pretty much everyone was staring at me as soon as I come in. So they got me straight in. Get these. Uh, we're going to get these off and then um, yeah, crack on to South End and get the bags off. So yeah, as I thought, the net isn't quite secure. So. Um, as you can see, that is just here, loose. So we're going to throw a strap sort of going around the bag and holding it on the bottom. That's what we're going to do. Right, paperwork is done. So as you can see, we've got a ratchet strap here just holding it on the bottom. There is no actual way that that net's now coming out. So that's secure enough. So we're going to drop back in the truck now and drive to South End. I'm not going to film going out of here, but um, I'll film going into South End. So see you in a bit. Right, we are around the corner. PGR is where we're going. I was just trying to <laughs> remember what company we're going to. Um, so, am I going to the right place? It doesn't look familiar. I, um, I think I, I think I approached from the other side last time. I think that's the issue here. Yeah, there we go. It's just there. I'm pretty sure I, cut, I went left last time. Or we'll come from the left. PGR building supplies, yellow building. We are gonna pull in and park on the right hand side because we've got to reverse in, I believe. Let's just jump on the pavement and then come back off. That's just to get the trailer straight quicker. Hazards are on. Let's uh, poke our nose in. They might just wave us in. There are some customers there. Beacons on. I'm just waiting to see if the forklift driver spots me and whether he says come on in. And then we'll uh, go from there. Whilst we're waiting, we put a high vis on. Come on then. Acknowledge me. Forklift driver has definitely seen me. He's just sorting out a customer at the moment. But it'd be interesting to see what he does from there. Does he just drive off or does he come over to me? Does he look at me? See what he does. Oh, he's just driven off. <laughs> Not even joking. Is he coming back? It might be. A, I think he might be doing something else for the customer. I think he's put another pack of bricks on. Yeah, he's come back. He's putting another pack on. Right. Look at me. Oh, he might be putting more on. Actually, he's pushing it all the way to the side. Not sure. Hmm. 
Baba. Thought lift off is coming out now. Yeah, no worries, mate. Well, he just said, wait outside, we'll get you in in a minute. So he has acknowledged me. Um, so we just sit tight. So next time I see you, we'll be outside. We do have to unstrap and take the net off as well. I'm going to do that in there. So, see you in a bit. Right, we are inside. We're completely unstrapped. We've got vans passing me that were just parked right in front of the load. I don't want to get them on camera, but I mean, it's quite clearly waiting to be loaded and vans decide to park next to you. So that's frustrating. One got told to move as soon as he moved and everyone come on in and park right next to the load. <laughs> Uh, so we're still waiting to be tipped, uh, but straps are off, net is off, and we've got our trusted pole. So uh, just waiting to be tipped now. Hopefully, it won't take too long. But yeah, the van was parked literally just there. Hopefully, we get this off and then we can crack on. Just been told that we're actually going to Lake and Buzzard from here uh, to get loaded for South Cerny. So uh, we should get loaded, hopefully, and then get back to the yard. And I would imagine it'll be tip in the morning. So that's what we're doing for the rest of the day, which means I'm home tonight, which is good. Right, we are slowly being tipped. Um, I just have to go serve customers, so it takes a little bit longer than expected, but uh, we are getting there. Right, we are getting there. We've only got four more bags left to come off. Those two are on me. We've got another one, which is sorting out a customer. But um, yeah, on and off, we've had three different forklift drivers. So it's picking up now, but for about 15 minutes, we had no one tipping us. So yeah, we get out of here as quickly as possible. Right, we are tipped. We're back in the truck. We need to put in the sat nav, uh, our delivery, sorry, our collection. So let's do that now. I think it's a good couple of hours away. Right, annoyingly, I lost um, all of my safe places on uh, my sat nav. Don't know why, I did an update and I lost pretty much all my places. So I've had to slowly rebuild them back up over the last like three or four days. So I'm slowly getting them, but I used to have a lot more than that. Anyway, we just saved it, so it should be there. Yeah, so let's head to the BMI Redlands. Get a route. I'm pretty sure it's like two hours. Twenty past two it's saying we'll be there. Which is about yeah, two hours. Bit of traffic as well on route. So right, without further ado, let's get on out of here. I'm gonna take the high vis off. Next time you see me, uh we you should be approaching big buzzard because I don't really want to uh um film leaving here. We're gonna film when we get it's late buzz and I've been there for a while so let's just get out of here and then I'm gonna go. So I shall see you in a little while. See you in a bit. Okay, you join me on the A5. We're um slowly making our way to Leighton Buzzard. We're about two miles away, three minutes, uh, give or take. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get this loaded, then we're gonna head straight back to the yard, I think. I keep your there. Not tired. I'm not tired at all, it's just, uh, yeah, sat in traffic, it's not good. I'd rather be moving and doing something. Um, but yeah, we're just around the corner from the uh, Leighton Buzzard branch. I've not actually been here for a while, so I don't know if things have changed. Don't know. Put my eyes on, I need to get my eye out of the, uh, the locker as well. Uh, and then we uh, get that strapped up and go back to the yard, and that'll be it then for today's video. Because tomorrow, like I said, I'm doing something else, and uh, I'll probably vlog tomorrow as well. We've got to go to Manchester. We've got to go to the Etihad Stadium where Manchester City play. But I'm not sure how much we can film, but I'll see what we can do. Anyway, we're going to turn left here, 400 yards. We're going to start to get in now because it's a bit of a cresty hill. And uh, we'll be going slow just over the crest. If anything coming up behind fast, they're going to get a shock. But the van behind me was, he just had to slow down quite quickly. Um, oh dear, road closed. Can I still get down there? Says, mate. <laughs> he just said, I've seen you on TikTok. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Um, we're going to risk it. I reckon I can get down here. No one said anything. I've got some colleagues that have been down here recently. No one said anything about it being shut. So we are going to risk it for a biscuit. If we've got to turn around, we've got to turn around. I know another way in anyway, so it shouldn't be the end of the world. I know there's a big yard here on the left I can turn around that if need be. And there's also a quarry as well. So I know there's plenty of space to turn around if I have to. Uh, uh. 
So we could reverse back here, spin around in there. Well, oh, there's a gate actually. Maybe this one. Is it this one? Yes. Yeah, we could spin around in there. If we have to. Where is the road closed? I think it's straight on. We're going left here anyway. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was risking it. I'm pretty sure it's further on down there. Take it nice and slow round here. There you go. <laughs> We're in a situation then where I couldn't go until they moved, but the lady at the front was a bit wary about going because I was still in the road. But one of us has to go, and it can't be me. Ugh. Nice. Hopefully there aren't too many in here. I think there is. I think we're good. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone. There's no one waiting to be loaded anywhere. One person... I was going to say strapping up, but it's a box-sided trailer, so they can't be strapping up. Ah, someone's coming around now to strap. But there's no one waiting to get let in, look, so we're going to uh, park up and then go to the Waybridge. Right. We're going to wait here. And we're going to grab a hard hat. There we go. We're going to put a high vis on. Right, high vis on. Hard hat on. Engine off. Let's go. Right, so we've got our paperwork. Just heading back to the truck now. We've got, well, most of it's getting loaded at the top, and then we've got to come back down and get a bag. Don't know what exactly is in the bag, end the caps or something. So I might have that on the passenger seat. If it's just a bag, I could. Have it on the trailer, but I'd have to secure it. And uh, don't really want to be squishing it. See what it is. If it's small, I can just put it on the passenger seat. Not a problem. Uh, especially seeing as we're going home tonight. So, uh, well, that's the plan anyway. If it was a night out, it might be different. Anyway, walking back to the truck. So let's go get loaded. Right. We are all strapped up. Everything's good to go. We've been here for 16 minutes. Let's get in here. And, uh, yeah, I want to crack on, so I'm not going to show you the load. Let's switch to GoPro. Yeah, so, high vis off. Get ourselves comfortable. Straighten you up a little bit, there you go. Into drive. And, uh, let's go. So, ETA back to the yard is 20 to 6. That's on the assumption that we make it back to the yard without having to stop for a break. Because, uh, yeah, we're on, uh, well, we're on two hours driving and we're two hours 20 away. So we are 10 minutes um, good for driving time. We get held up in more than 10 minutes worth of traffic and we, we'll have to stop for a break, which would be very annoying. But we'll see what we can do. If we have to stop, then we'll stop. We're not allowed to have brakes in there. Not normally anyway. So yeah, we're just going to crack on get as far as we can and then uh, take it by there it is going to be dark because i think it's getting dark now at like half past four we've got a car overtaking us um yeah it's supposed to be getting dark at like half past four now in the afternoon so in an, in an hour's time it's going to be dark or getting dark and when we get back to the yard it will be dark so um yeah there is there is that but i'm hoping we get back to the yard without having to stop for a break and then uh yeah Go a bit earlier, or if we have to stop, we have to stop. Not the end of the world. So this will be a delivery for South Sony in the morning. I oh, may include some phone footage tomorrow when we're there. Um, we'll see. Okay, turn right out of here. It's clear on the left, clear on the right so far. Still clear left, clear right, clear left. Lovely, jubbly. So you could just about see the load. Corner boarded up. Um, now, when we get to the end of this road, if we have to turn right, it could be a bit of a pain because you're very 
heavily loaded and you're literally going up a hill whilst turning so you lose a bit of traction and it's a fast flowing main A road and the A5 so if you want to turn right it can be a bit of a nightmare luckily we're going left so it shouldn't be hopefully it shouldn't be too bad be nice if this tractor's going right as well because it's got a lot of mud on it <laughs> surely it's going right the way it's positioned surely it's not indicating though no. uh we're gonna need hills start going up here See, this tractor's having trouble getting an outlet as well. It's a very fast flowing road. Turning right can be a nightmare. Now you can turn left and spin around at the roundabout. That is something you can do. We are clear right. Lovely, lovely. We are getting out of here. Thank you. You didn't need to stop, but thank you. Say thank you anyway, innit? They don't know how much room I need, so and they did slow down, so thank you very much. Anyway, um, yeah, on the A5, we're going to crack on. I think we're going to go through. Um, uh, what's it called? Why can't I think of the name? Aylesbury. That's it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I was saying to say. Aylesbury. Aylesbury. Uh, that is uh, the route we're going to take. Um, Aylesbury uh, through to Vista and then um, A34 to the A420 and go via Oxford. That's the way we're going to go back to the yard. Um, sometimes it's busy, sometimes it's not. We should get past most of it uh, pretty early, hopefully. I'm, ho I'm hoping to get... Well, ETA is 20 to 6 and it's about an hour from Oxford, so... We should be at 20 to 5, we should be going through Oxford or approaching Oxford. So that's and that's the main thing. I want to be past Oxford by five o'clock. That's the aim. Fingers crossed. Okay, you joined me just round the corner from the yard. Um we're very close on time as well. <laughs> we're currently on four hours and twenty-seven minutes. It means we've got three minutes to park up. And um yeah, like I said, we're just around the corner from the yard. So we're gonna get there, which is good. Uh, we did have a small diversion. They closed the road between um, Aylesbury and Bicester. Complete road closure. And there was no diversion signs. I probably should have turned the cameras on, but I ended up having to go down some country lanes and was just following instincts, basically. Um, but it was unadventurous because we got back out in the end. We were driving on country roads for about four or five miles until we got to Never A Road, so didn't come to anything but uh there was a moment where i was like left or right left or right i had to stop and put my hazards on and have a quick look at the, the map uh and then i saw that further on down the right there was an unsuitable road so we went left instead then just followed signs basically to the to the a road to the nearest big town and we got out of there so that was good so yeah we're just around the corner from the yard we're going to go on in and um then get this delivered in the morning like I said, I think what I'm going to do is I'll probably see you in the morning. So I think this might be a short video, I'm not sure. So I'll see you in the morning and I'll do a little bit more footage on the phone. Arriving at work, showing you the load and then um, basically getting it delivered. Open sesame. Lovely. Let's drive on in and go grab ourselves a parking space. Oh, there is. There's a gap here. Watch the trailer swing. Gravy, baby. And then we're just going to drive into this uh, this bay here. Lovely jabbly. Bob's your uncle. We're not quite straight. We're going to go a bit further forward. that there's someone part of that space i don't know who they are uh 
Uh, there's an MAN there, must be one of the new guys. Right. Lovely, jubbly. And uh, put you on rest. Great. So, um, yeah, we're parked up, window up, before I forget to do that. And yeah, turn off the, the dash cam GoPro just for a second. We're going to have to walk out with the high vis, I think. You're supposed to wear a high vis in this place, but <laughs> I mean, we normally start way too early and finish way too late for any of the office staff to notice. <laughs> but now that I've said that, I probably should wear it. So, yes. That's one of our guys leaving. Oh, it's Chris. Chris, Chris. He's a new guy. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> now that I've said that, honestly, if anyone from this yard is watching, I wear a high-vis every time. Honestly. Look, I'm putting one on. <laughs> every time, I promise. Right, let's go. So, yeah, I'll just show you the load quickly, look. So, that's what we've got on. Um, four load going all the way down, probably be able to see a bit more from the other side. I better lock it. Lock. There we go. And uh, yeah, so that's what we got on. Full load of uh, roofing tiles to go to South Cerny. And they'll be there in the morning. And like I said, I'll, um, I'll end this video tomorrow as well in the morning once I've actually got that one delivered. So I will see you. Uh, in the morning. And voila, we are back in the yard in the morning and uh, it's 6.24 in the morning actually. Let's go to the truck, do some checks and um, then make our way to South Cerny and get this load off that we got loaded yesterday. Yeah. Ah, oh, Matt's parked next to me. We're going to see him uh, later on today, but in a different video probably. Let's turn the lights on. Yep. <laughs> They work. Right, so my engine's on. I'm just going to do some checks now and uh, I'll come back to you when I'm in the truck. Yeah, go do some checks. See you in a bit. Uh, straight away, I've just noticed I've got a wheel nut missing. Well, no, sorry, not a wheel nut, a nut cover, I should probably say. The, the nut is on. <laughs> truck needs a wash. I mean, I said I was going to meet you in the truck, but I'm still recording. <laughs> All the traps look good. Gravy, baby. Right, check's done. And we're just making our way out now. Just make sure I don't hit, <laughs> don't hit Matt's truck on the way out. Um, so yeah, daily checks are done. Uh, paperwork is done. We are now going to crack on to South Cerny and uh, get this off loaded, and then then we can end the video so let's go okay so we are now inside straps are off you can't quite see but we are inside we're just waiting to be called in down there now for all to be taken off but once it's taken off um we're then gonna crack on right and there we have it we are now set on the bunk sat on the bunk and we're waiting to be unloaded we're in position and uh yeah the forklift driver is going to unload us now and then yeah, we're gonna crack on. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Do appreciate it, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I, today, in the next video, I'm gonna be going to Manchester, um, to the Etihad Stadium, where Man City go. So, um, I don't know how much I can film, but I'm gonna try and, try and get some to So, thanks for watching this one, do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.